Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to go over my top 10 favorite films from 2023, so stick around. So with 2023 closing out, I thought I would take time today to go over my top 10 favorite films that I watched that were released in 2023. A lot of great releases. Um, a lot of these are already on physical media. Some of these are still in the theater um, as they were um, recent watches. So I'm just going to go over my top 10. Now these right here may not be the best films that were released during 2023, but these are the ones that I had the best time with. And there were some that were really hard to whittle down because I had a lot of fun with a lot of different films. Um, but these are the top 10 that I decided that I was going to pick for my selection. So, and it's really hard to rank these from 10 to 1. Um, so I'm not really going to do, well, I guess I am. I'm going to rank them from 10 to 1. Um, but just don't give me a hard time about it. Okay, so at number 10... I'm choosing the Super Mario Brothers movie. I really enjoyed this one. Um, I loved playing Mario when I was growing up. Um, when I say I was growing up, when I was in my late teens, my early 20s, I played a lot of Mario back in the day. And so when this came out, I really had a soft spot for it. And I thought that they did a great job with it. And so that's the reason why I picked this as my number 10. For number nine was a surprise for me, and that is The River Wild. I really enjoyed this film. I didn't really think that I was going to like it until I watched it, and I thought it was very, very well done. I enjoyed the story. I thought the acting was good. Um, so that is why I chose this for number nine. If you have not seen this film, definitely check it out. At number eight... I'm selecting Knock at the Cabin. I really enjoyed this one. Um, great M. Night Shyamalan film. It is sometimes maybe considered maybe a one-time watch, which a lot of his films are. But I think down the road I'll be able to revisit this one and still enjoy it. Okay, at number seven, I'm selecting Renfield. I got to watch this twice during the um, 2023 and really enjoyed it both times. I really enjoyed Nicholas um, Holt's performance in this, and of course Nicholas Cage. I thought it was very well done. Great story. I just really enjoyed it. A lot of fun, a lot of good. The way it was shot was very interesting. So, highly recommend you check this one out. <clears throat> At number six, I'm selecting Cobweb. So Cobweb is another one that was a surprise to me. I wasn't very familiar with it when it came out. I think it was a surprise to a lot of people. Really good story. I really enjoyed the aspect of that it is a Halloween type film and definitely one that I would want to revisit during the Halloween season again and again. So um, Cobweb would be my number six. At number five, I'm going to select a movie that I recently saw in the theater, and that is Wonka. Uh, me and my wife went and saw Wonka in the theater. We really enjoyed it. It is a musical, but I think the way that they told the story was very entertaining, um, and it just made me feel good. So that's the reason why I'm selecting Wonka as my number five. Okay, at number four would be John Wick, Chapter 4. Um, I love the John Wick films, and they just keep getting better and better to me as far as the action sequences. And I really enjoyed what they did in John Wick 4. A little confused about parts of the end of it, um, but definitely looking forward to seeing where this franchise goes. Um, but overall, I really enjoyed the action sequences and the story. And of course, um, I think that Keanu Reeves plays a great John Wick. I wouldn't want to see anybody else play that character. Okay, at number three is a big surprise to me because I'm not a big fan of this franchise, but I really did enjoy Evil Dead Rise. Um, I, I've seen all the Evil Dead films, and I like them for what they are, but I thought that I really enjoyed this one. I think because of the different story, the, the, um, the gore, all of that to me, really made this film enjoyable for me and so that's the reason why I chose this as my number three favorite of the year. My number two favorite of the year is another film that I watched in the theater and I had a hard time deciding between number one and number two um, but I think I'm going to select number two for Godzilla minus one. I really enjoyed that one in the theater. 
I just have saw that film um, yesterday, and so it's fresh on my mind. I really enjoyed it. It was a nice surprise. A really great Godzilla film. Um, I, I like the aspect that you do get to see a lot of Godzilla in the film. The story was really great. Um, easy to follow, even though you're having to read subtitles. Um, but I really had a great time with it, and I'm definitely looking forward to hopefully getting that on physical media here soon. But Godzilla Minus One would be my, my number two. So my number one choice for the year is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. I really just enjoyed this whole series of films. All three volumes of, God, um, of Guardians of the Galaxy was, was great, and I think that they really tied it up very well in this film. And um, I enjoyed the Peter Quill character. I enjoyed all the characters. They were all a lot of fun to watch. A lot of humor, a lot of great music, and so it was great to see this one end on a high note. And so that is the reason why I'm choosing this as my number one film from 2023. So those are my top 10 films that I saw that were released in 2023. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about my ranking. And also leave your ranking down below so that I can see what you thought was good. And that might actually give me some ideas of some movies that I still need to check out. But if you like what you saw here today, please get a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.